on this very day, going back nine years, a man accepted the rarest of dares to consume peppered hot dogs loaded and stacked within the span of minutes, 20 to be exact. Little did he know of the trouble he would have had with ghost chilies, habaneros, and scorpions from Trinidad. Henceforth began the start of an interesting game for a coveted place on the wall of fame. His limits were tested, but in the end he succeeded, becoming one of 10, though his vision was impeded. By pushing the boundaries of what he knew, his horizons were expanded and his confidence grew. Now what if I told you this man with assurance stands before you to share a vision of a future beyond insurance? I'm happy to speak with you and say a few words about actuarial science, a versatile skill set that's often overlooked and underutilized in the global risk ecosystem. I believe that the actuarial profession is a sleeping giant. I believe that a broader view of risk will launch the profession into the future, cementing its reputation as an influential force in society. I invite you to come along with me on a journey to reimagine Embrace and explore. We'll take one step closer to unlocking the profession's true potential. Identity. To reimagine what an actuary can be, we must first understand who we are. Simon Sinek, a prominent thought leader, proposes three questions to distinguish a brand. I'll attempt to answer these questions for the actuarial profession. Why? Why do we do what we do? We believe that the confidence to navigate risk empowers people and systems. How? How do we give people and systems the confidence to navigate risk? By managing the downside of risk, and capturing its upside. What do we do? We put a cost on risk. People don't always judge risk effectively. A recent study concluded that working 55 or more hours per week is associated with a materially higher risk of death compared with working 40 hours per week. Yet, Long work hours have become commonplace in our society. Technology blurs the boundaries between home and work. Productivity demands place strains on employee capacity. When time, health, and unemployment are considered separately, people and systems make long-term decisions with a short-term lens. That's why we need actuaries. Risk is intangible, variable, and dynamic. By putting a cost on risk, actuaries break down the barriers between risk, people, and systems. This empowers people and systems to make better decisions. Risk framework. It's helpful to think of risk in three levels. The most basic level is tolerance. What does it cost to manage the downside of risk? Think insurance. Now let's transition from downside to upside to incorporate reward. The second level is optimization. Does the reward cover the cost of risk? Think investments. The third level is transformation. Can risk generate new rewards for society? When systems are stressed, transformation happens. I believe that emerging risks will transform society and its systems, creating long-term structural benefits. Beyond insurance, actuaries 
will have an opportunity to provide risk-based solutions to support this ongoing transformation. External forces. The risk landscape is changing. Before the ages of information and globalization, the risks of the past were less ambiguous, less dynamic, and less integrated. When an environment is static, the past is predictive of the future. Emerging risks are more ambiguous, more dynamic, and more integrated. When the past is not predictive of the future, putting a cost on risk takes creativity, innovation, and a nimbler application of the actuarial skill set. Actuaries are often overwhelmed with mechanical tasks such as data processing, tool building, and reporting. This leaves us with less time and energy to apply to higher value activities, such as analysis, evaluation, and decision making. Advanced technology, such as robotic process automation, automate routine and repeatable tasks. Other professionals build better tools than actuaries. I believe that a smarter alignment of resources will maximize insights and minimize mechanics within the actuarial value stream. The volume, variety, and velocity of data creates opportunities for actuaries to solve problems beyond insurance. Actuaries bring insights, intuition, and sharp business instincts to the table. Advanced analytics professionals bring modeling skills and competency in working with large data sets. I believe that the problems beyond insurance will be gray areas between actuarial and analytics. The solutions will be integrated and enhanced by both disciplines. So far, we found our identity, discussed our risk framework, and external forces. Let's embark on the road to growth and transformation. This is a scissor lift. It goes up and down. It's symbolic of certainty, safety, and security. This is a boom lift. It goes up, out, and around. It's symbolic of possibility, growth, and transformation. The road to growth and transformation has many barriers. As we walk along the road, I'll present pathways to addressing these barriers, specifically for the three barriers I think are most urgent for the actuarial profession. I'll also introduce a fictional organization called the World Actuarial Society, using fictional characters to show what a world beyond insurance might resemble. First barrier, mindset. Growth beyond insurance has been limited by a finite mindset within the actuarial profession. A finite mindset favors functional application over broad application, scarcity over growth, and is resistant to change. An infinite mindset seeks to expand territory, apply knowledge exhaustively, and amplify impact over the long term. Let's consider a simple illustration to contrast both mindsets. The medical profession applies knowledge exhaustively across the system of the body. The actuarial profession does not apply knowledge exhaustively across a system of risk. The percentage of GDP attributable to insurance has been 3% over the past five years. I believe that there's opportunity beyond insurance. Risk is everywhere. 
partnerships present a pathway from a finite mindset to an infinite mindset. Transitioning to an infinite mindset starts from the inside. Collaboration between actuarial societies with a unified goal of expanding the profession's reach. By proactively engaging with industries outside of our own, actuaries can identify risk-based problems beyond insurance that aren't being addressed by the market, expanding the scope of actuarial work. There are synergies that present growth opportunities. Strategic partnerships between the actuarial and venture capital communities to facilitate capital formation and investment. This could open up new entrepreneurial lanes for risk-based services. The second barrier is mechanism. The credentialing mechanism limits diversity of thought within the actuarial profession. Actuarial exams reward logic, structure, and precision. Beyond insurance, a modern actuary needs additional skills to thrive creativity, risk-taking, and innovation. Evidence suggests that time tests are not optimal measures of these skills. For instance, a study by Harvard Business School described time pressure as an obstacle to creativity. Education provides a pathway from a rigid mechanism to a dynamic mechanism. Two valuable attributes of the credentialing mechanism are rigor and consistency. I believe that we can maintain high standards of education in different formats to increase diversity of thought within the profession. One intriguing possibility is incubator residencies where candidates are required to create a product or service these skills are transferable to problems beyond insurance. New channels of information also help to advance educational reform. Two examples are think tanks and forums for innovative thinkers, such as the Growth Actuary Summit. The third barrier is reputation. I'm guessing you know who the person on the left is, Abraham Lincoln. But what if I asked you who the person on the right was? In case you didn't know, his name is Chester Arthur, also a past president. The reason we easily identify with Lincoln is that history shines a, a bright light on his presidency. We saw him in action. The actuarial profession has historically been shrouded in secrecy. I believe that in a digitally connected world, the profession's sphere of influence beyond insurance will be greatly limited by not having an established public perception. Communication is a pathway to establishing a reputation. In the golden age of media, the best way to promote a brand is using digital platforms to have reach beyond insurance. It will be imperative for the profession to modernize its communication. Short form copy, video, and podcasts. Thankfully, we have experienced actuaries to explain to people what we do. And I see this happening in two ways. Strategically, from societies, and individually, from experienced actuaries willing to lend their time to advance the profession. Now that we have the tools to embrace growth and transformation, let's explore risk-based opportunities. I see three ways actuaries could have added value during the pandemic. The first is strategic planning. Estimating the quantity of critical health equipment for adverse scenarios directing those supplies to serve the areas with the most need, and providing guidance on the reopening. The second is fiscal disbursement, estimating an equitable distribution of stimulus 
and loans for the Paycheck Protection Program. Three, communication, breaking down complex topics of risk in the media. Today in the United States, there are 15 federal agencies with no unified voice on risk. What if we wanted to understand the dependencies between agriculture, HHS, and transportation? Our commerce, treasury, and labor. I believe that establishing a department of risk to streamline risk-based functions across departments will make it easier to address the most complex risk challenges over the long term. There are three areas where I see actuaries participating, direct employment, government contracts, and public-private partnerships. Meet Kelly Smith. She was recently appointed as the inaugural Secretary of Risk. Energy. Due to the variable nature of energy, there's risk and uncertainty involved. I believe that actuaries can help the energy industry understand the interplay between production, cost, and capacity. Actuaries understand that energy strategy should incorporate both non-renewable and renewable energy sources. By putting more intelligent parameters around offshore drilling and carbon capture and storage capacity, they can optimize the trade-off between production and environmental impact. Here's Martin Brown, FWAS, showing an on-site worker at an oil rig his risk map for carbon capture and storage. From a renewable energy perspective, actuaries can optimize the balance between infrastructure investment and energy production. Sports. I believe that actuaries can help the sports industry make better decisions with smarter data. The first is professional sports. Wearables and virtual reality will provide rich data that teams can use to optimize performance, inform game strategy, and develop training programs. Think of a soccer team who wants to come up with the best squad formation to face an opponent, or a track team who wants to minimize injury risk in a high impact sport. Meet Pedro Martinez. He was recently hired by Bolero FC as the director of performance analytics. The second application is contracts and recruiting. I believe that actuaries can use publicly available data to help organizations make smarter decisions on the lifetime value of athletes, putting a cost on decision making. The future is bright for actuaries and it's certainly interesting. The era of the maverick is upon us. A time to paint with bold colors. A time to write a new chapter in the book of risk. Muriel Strode said it best. I will not follow where the path may lead, but I will go where there is no path, and I will leave a trail. I've come to the Growth Actuary Summit because I believe that many of you understand our survival is tied to our ability to navigate risk. That risk is complicated, but it can be rewarding. That we cannot be fully evolved actuaries until we understand the people and systems we serve. That our insights, intuition, and instincts have to be married with clarity, creativity, and impact. I believe that by reimagining, embracing, and exploring, actuaries will shape the global discourse on risk for years to come, bringing a world beyond insurance within reach. That is a world we're striving for, and that is an idea we're spreading. Thank you.